What's up guys, Josh here, and today we're talking about the new Comica Vimo C wireless lavalier microphone. This is a dual wireless lav kit. It has a ton of cool features, so let's talk more about it. It works off of the charging case system. So there's a bunch of different lav mics that come with this now. So it's really nice to see a smaller package. So if you take a look at these mics themselves, they are absolutely tiny. Here it is side by side with an Insta360 Go 2. These things are literally bite sized Now Comica is known for making affordable microphones in the past. They sounded just okay, but I really think they hit the nail with the Vimo C because of its size, its portability. I'm in a big vaulted ceiling room right now with tons of echo. I mean, you can hear the quality of my voice. This is it right now recording me. It's bite size. It's tiny. And one thing that I particularly love about the system is that each microphone and even the receiver is standalone and independent, meaning that you can charge it without the charging case. It's all powered by USB-C charging, so you can just plug it in without having to rely on the case itself. It gives you about 20 hours of runtime, which is perfect for any shooting situation. And especially if you're moving from one shot location to the next, you just put these microphones and the receiver back in the charging case and it's charging up while you're switching your shooting positions. So really love that feature there. Now we have three different audio recording modes. We have the stereo mode, the mono mode, and the safety track. The mono mode will only be recording one channel at a time. Now this is especially useful if you're using two labs at once because then you can individually monitor and change them in post-production. You can adjust the treble, the bass, the volume. It gives you the most control when you're shooting in mono. Stereo will shoot to both channels, but it will bake into the footage and you will have a lot less room to play around with the audio and editing. And Safety Track will record at two different decibel versions. You'll have the one that you originally set it at, and then you'll have a lower decibel version just in case you do peak audio. Now, what I really love about this microphone is that when it peaks, it doesn't distort like crazy. I've had this issue with the Hollyland Lark 150. It would just distort to the point where my ears would start bleeding. But this, if this just distorts, if I get really, really loud, I mean, it, it does sound distorted, but it doesn't go and by the way, this one has the best battery life in its class. Uh, I can use this all day without having to worry about putting it back in the charging case. Also, the display on the receiver works really, really nice. It has this matte finish. It doesn't glare, so you can see it in sunlight pretty well. And it works off of the cold shoe or hot shoe adapter on your camera, so it just clips right on. And these things are ridiculously light. You can see the size right here. It's literally like the size of my thumb, like the Insta360 Go 2. It's smaller than that thing, and that's a tiny camera. Now, unlike any other wireless lab that I've used, this one actually comes with a padded case. Finally, a company does this. So not only are your microphones protected inside of the wireless charging case, but your wireless charging case is also protected in that soft shell case that they provide to you. And on top of that, that case comes included and holds a lot of different cables, such as your standard uh, cable for your camera and your cable for your smartphone. And it comes with a splitter so you can connect it to the receiver so you can pick up audio and monitor it at the same time. Something that I haven't seen other companies do or include that cable in their products. Also, just reference, I'm gonna unplug the audio cable from the camera and you can hear how much better or worse the uh, built-in microphone sounds on the camera. All right, do you hear a difference? I'm pretty sure you do. So let's uh, plug this thing back in. Okay, do you hear a difference? Really big difference. And especially if you're just getting into video, you need a wireless lav mic like this. Now, one thing I do wanna let you know is that there's no built-in auxiliary port in any of these wireless labs, simply because they wanted to focus on the minimalistic design and the size, that's a really big factor. So you can't plug in any wired lav mic into these uh, wireless lab systems. They just have their own built-in mic. So you're stuck with using that, but the quality itself, as you can tell, is really good. And because these are so small, you can hide them uh, under shirts and stuff like that. It even comes with a little wind muff that clips right onto the microphone body. So overall, you're gonna get really nice audio sound. 
Now, another good microphone test is the noise level. I'm gonna stop talking, and we're just gonna to listen to the ambience, the room sound, and let me know if you hear a lot of noise, all right? So Comica states that they've upgraded the noise reduction chip inside of this microphone system. Uh, when I've, what I've heard from editing, it sounds really, really good, especially without using any recorder. The receiver gives you real-time audio monitoring so you can see what volume levels your audio signals are getting picked up at. You can also adjust the volume by pressing on the knobs or on the buttons on the side of the receiver. And you have individual power off buttons on each of the mics and the receiver itself. And they also double up as a mute button. So I just really like using the Vimo C. I think this is a absolute game changer for Comica to create such a good microphone. So let me know what you think about the audio quality in the comment section down below, and I'll see you in another video. Peace. Thank you.